Previously on Kingdoms Two Crowns. Excuse me, sir. Have you clicked the subscribe button? Uh, what? Have you clicked that subscribe button? The subscribe button? What the heck is the subscribe button? Uh, oh, oh, the the big red thing. Okay, I get it now. You want me to click? Yeah, click it. Okay, okay. Here you go. And now continue. And before we continue, please take note that I accidentally made the same mistake in the Valkia video where when I was recording this video, I can only hear my voice again and not hear the audio again. So let me tell you what exactly happened in this part. Then we will move on to the part where I'm talking. While at the same time, you can hear the game audio. So let's go. As you can see, we finally land on the new island. Get it from a campfire and you know, the same old thing. Hire some people, give them jobs to do, build up the base, and try to survive the night. Which no greed showed up, so that's good to know. Then I decided to chop up some more trees so that we can have shrubs popping up. And then my hunters can now hunt some rabbits. Then I decided to hire some more friends. Then I upgraded the walls. Got some more people working with me. And yeah, we're off to a good start again. I don't know remember what difficulty this is because I'm guessing this might be easy mode. I don't know. Like a bunch of greeds showed up and didn't stand a chance. Anyway, I heard some more friends. But I also found another vagrant camp. Oh wait, I just realized they're not vagrant camps. They're beggar camps. Then when I was passing by the beggar's camp, I stumbled upon what appears to be a fallen tree. Then I decided to put my coin down and all of a sudden, I got a dog! I got a puppy! And I decided to name it Baby, name after my puppies in real life. Then I decided to go to the other side of the map and see what I could find. I slowly stumbled upon my first gem chest. Then after that, I found another gold chest. Then I found another gem chest. Then I started running for my life because the greed showed up. Then after that, I decided to go get some more friends. Then I turned my tent into a massive keep. Then I decided to go out and look for the stone mine that I was supposed to look for in the previous episode. And would you know it, I already found one. Then when the mine was complete, the greed showed up again. Sheesh, get away from my crown. Go get someone else's crown. But as soon as I'm about to upgrade my base, I now have access to stone walls. I also got this hermit over here, by the way. And you know what's interesting about the hermits in this game? They will allow you to build unique buildings for your kingdom. Like this hermit right here. If you upgrade a farm with that hermit, you will unlock a stable. Think of it as like a storage place for all the mounts that you have in the game. Anyway, back to the video. I decided to expand my kingdom a little bit so that I can access to a new shop. And when you have stone resources already for your kingdom, you can now access to a new shop called the Pike Shop, which turns your citizens into pikemen. So for now, I decided to hire some three pikemen, and would you look at that? Get wrecked, Creed. Also, fun fact about the pikemen, unlike the hunters that can hunt, you know, rabbits and deers, the pikemen can use their pikes to hunt fish in the nearby river. And all of a sudden, a blood moon appeared. And this is bad news, because when there's a blood moon, that means the greed are gonna go on a frenzy mode and destroy literally everything. So I gotta be prepared. But also, when there's a blood moon, there are new type of greeds that are gonna show up and, you know, take your crown. You got the floaters, you got the breeders, and you got the crown stealers which you know why it's called a crown steal. And I was nervous because these things might show up and destroy me. But for some reason, none of them showed up. And not only that, there aren't any greed showing up in this blood moon. What huh? the heck? Looks like two free nights for me. And that's all for now, guys, because this is the part where my audio is back on and everything is going well. So back to the original video. <laughs> Gosh, three coins in the ground. I'm rich. Ooh-wee, money! This is fine. I run back, run back, run. I'll buy some time. Works every time. Ah, Regal, yes. I'll give you the crown, you idiot. Thank you. No, no. I said the crown, not the gold. Seriously, it's the same guy again. How is he still alive? Let's bring this hermit with us. Yes, push the dang boat. Push it, boys. We're gonna go. Woohoo! Griffin, I'm coming! Citizens, I have returned! Ah! 
I'll just continue with the task at hand. Let's get that Griffin. I will name you Silverwing. Yes, rise, my Griffin. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> boy. How I use the ability? I have to Google this again. Holy shoot! Sheesh! I didn't know how to use this ability! How do I use it? Hold, alt, shift. Oh, wait, shift! Upgrade to the mighty stronghold. There you go. Look at it! Hey, what we got here? We got a catapult. Nice. So don't worry, it looks bad. I am broke. Again. Yeah! It works! I'll oh, run! It works! I love it! Iron hole! Oh, the camel's great! Yeah, get wrecked! <laughs> I love it! You can also build some fire barrels as well! Oh, gold! Not on space! There you go! There you go. Push them out. Nice. And as you can see, guys, we're off to a good start again. I mean, we got a bigger castle, we got pikemen, and we got this little fancy griffin over here. Not to mention we have the most adorable little puppy ever. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed part two of the Kingdom 2 Crown series. If you guys want to see some more videos like this, especially Warhammer 3, consider liking the video and also don't forget to subscribe, slap the bell, and comment down below what you want to do next. And I'll see you all in part three. Bye.